This is Nancy's first time doing this, by the way. I'm so excited to do this. Excellent. with Brian Patrick Flynn. Yeah. Hi. Uh, I'm Brian Patrick Flynn. I'm the interior designer of HGTV Dream Home 2017. And I'm Nancy Fire, design director for HGTV Home. And we have decided to do a Facebook Live for HGTV uh, for two different reasons. Uh, Nancy is a massive expert in product design. and I, She's a legit product <laughs> designer. And I'm an interior designer and also a production designer. And although we live in completely different parts of the country, I live in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. I live in New York City. But we have met up here at KBIS, which is the kitchen and bath industry show in Orlando, Florida at the Orange County Convention Center. And Nancy had a talk this morning, and she was talking about kitchen and bath design, timelessness, and trends, etc. And although we are in completely different places, and I focus mostly on interiors and her products, we couldn't be more on the same page with how design is, is headed for kitchen and bath. So we are going to give you a rundown on some things that we found here that we are huge fans of in the industry. And I'm just so happy you were listening this morning, so it makes me feel even better. I yes. went to her talk, and I listened, and she called me out. It was very nice. But anyhow, we're here. <laughs> uh, we are here at the Delta, Delta Fawcett booth. And as you see the signage, uh, the signage uh, behind us, they've actually recreated the master bathroom. If you come this way with Nancy and I, yeah. we're actually going to make our way through the recreation of the HGTV Dream Home 2017 master bathroom. You haven't really explored this yet, have you? So uh, Delta, Fawcett has, Delta Fawcett has completely made it a set, which is fascinating. I came here it's, and it's spot on. It's, it's incredible. I it, mean, they really duplicated the Dream Home. It's phenomenal. It looks beautiful, Brian. They completely replicated the yeah. exact master bathroom as mm -hmm. a set down to the actual towels that we use, the exact... The, the thing that blows my mind the most is the fact that the tile is in here. I mean, can you imagine transporting that tile and getting it up? The tile is beautiful because everything about this situation here looks perfect. It's great to see something that they could emulate so well. Amazing. Good it, job. And really. it's really exciting to see yeah. somebody else actually uh, replicate something you've done. Mm -hmm. But anyhow, we're going to get started. The first thing we want to show you, yes. it, um, I'm going to let Nancy kind of lead on this, but one of the biggest things that we're seeing with kitchen and bath is matte black. And we're going to yes. show you some options right here. Come our way. We love it. Sorry about all this long pause between, but uh, we have to make our way from uh, uh, kitchen item to kitchen item. Uh, right over yeah, we're, we're so excited because this morning I was talking about matte black, and matte black is the new black. So Brian um, is so excited about this, and we just wanted to chat a little bit about what we're seeing here at the booth. So what has made, what, what basically, Nancy is a really big expert when it comes to trends because she's consistently making brand new product that needs to be innovative and different and, and, and stand out from other things that are on the market. I'm consistently working with interiors that are personalized and meant for people to actually live in them. So we come from different points of view. But one thing we both found that was missing, sometimes we can find black fixtures, but right. they, they're usually very glossy. Mm -hmm. What has happened now is we are finding ones that are very chalky. Right, they're chalky, they're matte, and what we love about them, they have an art feeling. So if you look at this faucet here, it really does emulate almost a waterfall. The beauty of this is that we're on the cutting edge of the cusp of the trend, because matte black is the future of black. And if you're somebody who has really not thought about doing black plumbing fixtures, because maybe you thought they were uh, maybe too avant-garde, or if you thought they were too glam, What's really good about the mat is it works really good in high design spaces. It could be it could be kind of made more casual. It can be modern. It That's can what be I was going to say. I mean, it's really the casualization of what's going on in the industry. And and Brian was he's extremely right on that. And what we love about this is it's it's updated. It's fun, but it does have a casual vibe to it. And we're just excited because it's so nice to have a new finish in the industry. And we're fans, really, just love. And we're not only fans because we like the look of it. Uh, Matt Black, especially these ones that we're finding at the Delta Faucet booth, they are, they don't, a lot of people, when I first started working in interior design in the early 2000s, a lot of time people would love stainless steel, but you, a lot of the remarks that you get would be from families with little kids leaving their thumbprints. Absolutely. A yeah. lot of the matte finishes, they've been made in a way where they don't really leave a lot of thumbprints um, because they're more matte and they're right. more satin. Right, so you have the satin finish, they don't have that sheen that you would normally have. So it makes that's it, definitely a great point. Absolutely. It makes it way yeah. more practical. Um, Much practical. And uh, something else that we're finding is um, there's this one M word that's used a lot in the design world, that it's millennial. <laughs> and there seems to be a very big separation between uh, people from the classic world of design and the way 20s and 30-somethings design their homes. It's absolutely. a lot more minimalist and more yes. sculptural. Yes. And the other thing about these faucets is... This actually, when it's, is it, um, when a faucet is like this and it's a waterfall, what is it called, an open, open channel? This yeah. is called an open channel design. 
And what we're finding is that sculptural fixtures are really becoming way more popular. They're supposed to stand out. And as you see, all of these ones here in the matte black finish, they, they're very modern and they also double as art. What do you say, Nancy? I, they're, they definitely double as art. And what I'm seeing here, too, is just like the structural size of these. They're variations. What I love about this is the consumer has so many choices and everyone can pick their favorite. I mean, I just love when you're talking about this and the waterfall look and the sculpture. I actually love the handles. They're just very clean. I mean, to me, it really is an art piece. And I'm just so happy that we can see these here because it is, it's the beginning of the trend and we're, ha we're just lucky to see that. And something else that, uh, that, something that I love about going to Kitchen and Bath Industry shows, as an interior designer, this is kind of something we do regularly to kind of see what's new, what's out there and source things for clients. Well, I'd source the clients, but I, I'd probably be sourcing Nancy's product. So it's kind of interesting to meet each other here because I'm the buyer for the stuff she spent years researching and making. Absolutely. And uh, we're also gonna make our way over to, um, you're seeing finishes right here, which is matte black is what we are kind of all about right now. Yes. But it's also the technology with kitchen and, blast, kitchen and bath fixtures that's making it a lot more practical. So we're gonna take you over here and show you three show different you some features. some really cool smart technology. Um, and actually it's with the same finish, so it's exciting to see. Come on. Uh, first up, we're back to matte black again. Yes. And uh, a fixture like this, something that's very simple and contemporary like this, it mixes really well with different interiors. If you're somebody who's not necessarily into contemporary or modern, but you're willing to take the leap, this will mix beautifully with transitional or traditional homes. Again, because of the casualness of the matte black. Um, so, here at the booth, uh, we want to talk to you about a very interesting type of technology. This is called Touch 2.0 technology. Did I get that right? I want to make sure I get my terms right. Okay. Now, at first, I, I've been doing this all day. Nancy's kind of new to it, but I want to show you what's interesting. So, I'm not a cook. You cook a lot, right? I cook. I, I am not a huge fan of cooking. I have more takeout boxes and, and brown <laughs> paper bags than anyone. But Nancy, I've been to her house in the Hamptons, and she is an incredible cook, and she loves it. She makes her way around the kitchen. So, when, I don't have children yet, but if I did, I know that being in the kitchen could be stressful because you're multitasking. So the touch to own technology has made it so if you have a baby in one hand or if you have a whole entire bag full of farm to table groceries in the other, you can touch the fixtures anywhere to turn them on and off. You don't necessarily have to use a handle at all. Um, and the other thing is, uh, Nancy, okay, I'm going to have Nancy do it. So say you are in the process of needing this to stay on or the baby in the other arm and you need to kind of move it around a little bit, it, it, this knows the difference between tapping and grabbing. So if you grab this and move it around, it stays on. It kind of has learned, like, all right, Nancy needs to be using me left and right. Uh, and then the tap turns off. The other thing is the magnetization of this part that comes off. Incredible. But look what happens. So, um, like me, I, I'm very absent-minded when I'm eating yeah. because I, I'm, I'm not really a food enjoyer. I'm, like, I'm more like eat right. and stay I'm alive. <laughs> uh, and you're the food. You know more about... I like using microwave. But anyhow, um, if you happen to just leave it dangling, yeah. it has this magnetization where if, you, if we keep our hands back, it'll just pull it back up all the way on its own. And you know what's great? I didn't get splashed at all. That's incredible. Exactly. Well, speaking That's about that. incredible. There's, really? There's one other feature over here. And uh, there's two, There's two. actually two more things. Uh, I'm going to have Nancy uh, show you. So we're going to tap it on, and she's washing the plate. Now, this is the regular way you wash a plate. But then we have this feature where it domes out, and it perfectly cleans all your leftover food off your plate without having to worry about all that back splashback. And again, uh, these things have been engineered not just to be really pretty, but they're really practical. So I, I want to want to say this form and function. I think that's what's wonderful. You have form and function here, and that's really what we're about as designers. Yeah, as long as you have as, you, as long as you have the form following the function, yes. you'll have classic design that'll that'll kind of stand the test that's of time. Right. Yes. But one other thing, going back to what I said before, is uh, stainless steel. Uh, a lot of people who have kids with messy fingers or very active artists, it could be a pain because of all the smudges, but. Uh, a lot of these faucets, some of the, the some of the styles of faucets with different finishes have what's called, uh, well, they're shield spray technology. But then we also have the, the protective coat that keeps it uh, so you don't smudge. What is that called again? So there's something on these faucets, on certain faucets here called spot shield. And would this be an example of spot shield? Where I wouldn't, um, and what we're trying to show you. Is, I think over here. Over here? Yeah. So we're going to, follow us over here. We're going to show you spot shield. So all of these, right? 
So this is something that this I... This is incredible, really. I mean, I'm learning so much. All of these finishes, this finish has been made so you can touch it anywhere and it doesn't smudge like stainless usually does. Wow, is it because it's a satin finish and that's why? I well, mean, I this believe... Is incredible. It's incredible. It must be coated a certain way. It's a coating, right? It's, it's a coat. It's a coating, kind of like right. when you have uh, cooking pans that are covered in whatever that material is to make it not stick. Um, it's huge. So if you happen to be somebody that stayed away from stainless because of all the, the sticky finger marks, it's absolutely perfect. Really nice finish. And wow. then something else that, um, uh, trend-wise, that I noticed in Nancy's talk this morning is that the word sculptural... Yes, it's really, really... In, in furniture, in, in pattern... I think in every product today, it's really about the art and the art form. And we're seeing so many sculptural products here at, at KBiz and IBS. And you know what? It's really nice to see art coming back again to this industry. Um, right? Do you think so? I feel Absolutely. Like it's just, it's everywhere. You know, it's not just on the walls anymore. It's within your product. And I think that's the most, the biggest takeaway that I've I've seen here today. The take the takeaway yeah. would be that uh, certain things are meant to be special and you're not going like to hide us. that they're special. Yeah, like us. Like us. Uh, and, our, our really, and our very special cool glasses. <laughs> um, but uh, we're both be spectacled. But anyhow, the other thing is, um, is so things that might have been mundane before, like a faucet or a handle. Yes. Now, if, if you're going to live a more minimalist life, those things you have to interact with every day are, are kind of meant to stand out more. So we're going to show you a faucet head that doesn't really look anything like a regular... A shower head? A sh a sh uh, that's shower why she's here. She's the product shower person. Uh, we're going to show you a shower head that doesn't really look like anything you've seen before. Uh, hi, Young. Uh, the pronunciation? Okay. So, I'm gonna. Nancy hasn't even seen this yet, so yeah. this is all happening uh, live. So excited to see this. This is the Zura pendant, Zura. and it's a straight up shower head. I keep saying faucet. It's a shower head. Yeah. And I just want to say what's special about this is we talked today about trend and lighting and how we're having like pendants hanging and, and like collections of uh, items coming together. I've never seen a shower head like this before, that you actually have three pieces that work off each other in different lengths. It's a beautiful piece, it's functional, yeah. and the finish is fantastic. Uh, hi. Uh, the, the, uh, another thing about KBiz is when you work in the design industry, every two minutes you turn your head and you'll see somebody that you know or that you came up with, or you so like, nice. or like somebody you totally idolize. So one minute you have a huge designer walking by, then you have friends that you went to college with. It's kind of incredible. So excuse my ADD. So, um, the Zura, the, uh, the, what's interesting about the Zura pendant is if you're going to be in a bathroom and you're going to go with more minimalist design and you want everything to kind of have a sculptural value. This kind of truly doubles as art. It doubles as art. It really does. I mean, again, we're talking about form and function and finish. Um, it's it's fabulous. And again, I've never seen this before. It's the first time that I've seen something like this, a uh, shower head. It's beautiful. And it really does emulate the trend I was talking about today in lighting, where it's almost like a puzzle of jewelry. Um, this really does take the place of just, it's just very special and updated. So, fabulous, fantastic. And something to keep in mind, anytime you're... Uh, you're dealing with anything that's supposed to be sculptural, a lot of times it has to do with a variation in heights. And here, with this pendant, you'll notice each one of them that comes out is at a different height. And if you happen to want to have a takeaway from this on your own, is anytime you suspend things as a collection, as long as you have them varied, one very high, one in the middle, one very low, you end up having that visual balance. You need to make something look very spot on. Um, but uh, I, I just want to say one thing too. I mean, I think what's great about this is I'm assuming they could go in different directions. So you can cater that to your style. So if you feel you want to have one of the shower heads hitting you in the head and one on the side, I think that's a wonderful plus. And you also know, customization again. And the variation of finishes. So yeah. if you happen to want to take more of a risk and go with something a little more current like the matte black, it's right here. But over here, is this is this considered chrome, Missy? Or is this like over here? Uh, this would be a chrome finish, which would be straight up contemporary or, or modern. But um, the other thing that uh, the other thing that has really been happening here while Nancy and I are at KBiz 2017 is uh, HGTV Dream Home 2017 has a really big presence and all of the wet spaces in the house are using using products that we're seeing here literally in this booth. Um, and on a closing note, one thing that's really important is for anybody who may not necessarily be that familiar with the HGTV Dream Home franchise is right now up until the 14th of uh, February, which is actually another holiday, Valentine's Day. Uh, imagine how cool would that be for Valentine's Day. One new house. Uh, uh, val you can and go. You go to hgtv.com uh, to the sweepstakes and HGTV Dream Home, and up to twice a day from now all the way until uh, Valentine's Day, you can up enter up to twice daily. And on a closing note, I just want to show you some really gi gigantic blown up, uh, blown up photographs. If you haven't visited HGTV Dream Home 2017 yet, we have a whole wall showing some of the interiors. I'd love to show that off. I really. This is the part where I feel like a. 
kind of narcissistic. It's because <laughs> it's really exciting. It's weird to see your picture blown up because all I notice is like my smile lines and the fact that I'm not 23 anymore. But over here, um, they've blown up gigantic photos of the interiors of HGTV Dream Home. And it, I'm, it just, I'm really proud of how it all looks. So if you haven't been to it yet, this is what it looks like. And so that's it. We're going to get back to visiting all the different booths we can here. Uh, Nancy, on Nancy's Instagram, uh, which is Nancy underscore fire, fire as in one of the five, is it five elements? Oh, yes. Yeah, well, the fi uh, fire as in the elements of Nancy underscore fire. Uh, uh, we've both been doing a lot of posting, whether it's actually Instagram photos or Instagram stories. I've relied more on the stories because I've just been like kind of interacting with stuff action wise. Nancy has been posting really beautiful images also on the H, the at HGTV home. Absolutely. Please follow us because you're going to see so many amazing products throughout the show today and tomorrow so follow along at HGTV home it's very likely you'll see stuff that you've never seen before and through our Instagrams you'll probably be able to, to link to it somehow and actually be able to purchase some of these things so uh, thanks for putting up with us for the past 10 or 15 minutes uh, hopefully we spoke loud enough and uh, softly enough that you can understand us but uh, again at B Patrick Flint at Nancy underscore fire and uh, good luck in possibly winning the 2017 HGTV dream home he talks so fast I know I need subtitles <laughs>